morning. It's me. Mikey Pipes. With Sippy Cup. It's Friday morning. July 2nd. Today is July 2nd. It's a very special day for me. You want to know why? Because it's almost July 4th. It's almost July 4th. But more importantly, today, Gigi, my mini golden doodle, is five years old. Really? I cannot in believe. In dog years? Or? No, in, in, in real, yeah, in dog years. In, yeah, in dog in years. In years. Oh, in regular years. Regular years. Uh, cannot oh, believe we've had her for almost five years. She's the best five-year-old puppy ever. So, just wanted to wish her a happy birthday. If she was capable of watching and being a subscriber, I'm sure she would. Because St. Mike commands thee to subscribe. Anyway, our first service call today. We are going back to that American Standard 100-gallon uh, water heater in Lindbrook at Halal Express. This is a water heater that... <laughs> this is a water heater that has the kitchen exhaust hoods sucking all the combustion gases from the water heater into the into the building and the guy wanted me to get American Standard to say it's a defect <laughs> so we're back we're going back when did we go there we're going back there again because Ameri he's complaining that the water heater is leaking now water and American Standard is saying it's condensation he's saying it's no he needs a new water heater <laughs> So we are going to record the entire service call. Right? We, me and you. Me. Well, you? well, when I say we, I mean me, Mikey Pipes. Stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss it. Time. Timer flash. Seven times. ET system. You ain't testing. You're guessing. Plus. All right, let's see if they're here. Let's see if anyone is there. Hi, there he is. Hi, good morning. Back. How are you? How are you? Good morning. Good morning. So, is it leaking water? Water is leaking water? Water is leaking water. And then on the tank is getting hot. Okay, let's see. Now we are. Okay. Now it's off. We still got burnt water. Did you see the? Uh, I have. Um, before they get in picture. Oh. The flame is coming out. Yeah. And this wire here is it's burning, burnt. see? Okay, so I'm here again, but you haven't taken care of anything. That's a hard right? Good. Good. See all the smoke coming out? Yeah. Coming out. Yeah, I see the flame coming out. I'm gonna turn it off for now. <laughs> you have it. Okay. Alright, let's check for draft. Okay. This time we're gonna use the flame. And the flame is blowing out. Again. So you did take care of the um, the makeup air, the ventilation. Yeah, no, 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 no my son. Mm -hmm. he, you wanna talk to him? He know better than me. So, all right. So you didn't take care of the makeup air that this unit needs. I just showed that it's still something is sucking air down the chimney. Something in this. You still have this burnt electrical wire there, and you're saying that the water heater. Is leaking water, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's confirm it's under pressure. There's our domestic hot water out. There is the 
domestic cold water. We have an expansion tank. Okay, in the proper orientation. Let's see if we have hot water coming out of the faucets. That'll show that the heater is plumbed in. That's hot. That's cold. Okay. And let's try here too. Oh, is this broken? Oh, see, it's not even spinning. No hot water here. Oh. Oh, a trick! <laughs> you got the magic touch! Oh, do that again! <laughs> do it again. How did you do it? It's magic! Magic! <laughs> oh, look at that! Alright. Now, let's just uh, put this right there again. Alright, I'll show you the flame one more time. Best way of doing it. See, it blows out. See, we have a draft, we have a downdraft coming out of here still, and the exhaust fans are not even on. Can we turn the fans on again? I swear this is like comical. All right, all right. So now that the fan is on. Look at this. Flame, watch this. <laughs> okay, Let's lay down and see if you see any active water leaks. Everything is dry, everything is dry. A little bit of rust there that's probably caused by condensation with the cold water being heated. Not continuously. Okay. There's nothing back there. No, no wet. Nothing there. And just to confirm everything, let's get a bucket. We have a bucket. A bucket, a five-gallon bucket. Well, he's right. How about that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I use this? Yeah. All right. Let's just test the relief valve. Put that right there. See, she's under pressure. That's good. She's under pressure. Let's make sure this stops. All right. Just about done residual drippage. Relief. Good. So she's under pressure. I got two weeks is up. Yeah. Yes. That's one maybe getting the right. We didn't put it on. We didn't put it on? No. Well, you can't put it on because you still have the burnt wire. Yes. Right? Yes. So why why am I here? Why are they put why um they said it was leaking water? Yes. When was it leaking water? Before you come in, that last time you got any coin in here, before. Oh. Two, uh, before. About two weeks ago I was here. Yes, yes. Before. So it leaked before. water two weeks ago? Mm -hmm. Before. Maybe. Okay, but if, 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 the ta if, the, if the tank had a had a crack or a, a defect with it where it wasn't holding pressure, we would have water on the floor. Continuously. Okay. But we don't have water on the floor. On the floor, no. It's inside. But, uh, and it's not inside either. There, there's no. Everything's dry. I'm saying maybe we two weeks. I can get in dry. Two but it's weeks, under weeks. pressure. Okay. Okay. There's there's water inside the, the water tank and it's on. The valves are on. We open up the hot and cold water faucets. We I've tested the pressure at the relief valve. So it's not like it's off and there's no water in the tank. There's pressurized domestic water in the tank. And if the tank had a defect or it was uh, there was a leak. But with the tank itself, it wouldn't, it would have, you'd have water on the floor. Okay, I'll speak to your son again. Hi. Hi, good morning, how are you? Good. Um, 
Okay, so I know they want them to come again from American standards to yes. see if there's a leak. Okay. I explained this to them. I don't know why they don't seem to understand this. The tank leaks only when the tank is working and on. It's not a leak of like gallons of water coming out, but there's enough water dripping from the bottom when it gets hot at 160 degrees to make the fire um, come out from the side. Okay, you're not understanding what I told you last time, and I'm going to say it again for the last time. All right, and as a professional, I'm trying to be as professional as possible here. You have not addressed the backdraft of this water heater and of the building. Right? I have the the no, it's I not. No, it's not. I have, I have, I have it on video recording right now with your exhaust hoods on. Right? Fl you know, wind coming down your chimney at the top of the water heater, and with it off, you still don't have sufficient draft. And I did a flame test and a smoke test. Okay. You're, you 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 want to place blame? Listen, if, if there's something wrong with the water heater, I would love to help you. If there was a defect with the water heater, I would love to help you. But there's nothing wrong with the water heater. The problem is the installation and the installation environment. Okay, I understand that the ventilation department, the company was there yesterday. Okay. They're coming out to fix it next week or probably Sunday or Monday. Okay. Uh, I, I understand the situation. They gave me a few options. One is to put a return air on. Uh, you can tell me which one you think is best. I, I'm I'm not an air balancing contractor. Okay. I'm so not a I'm not a ventilation contractor. But I do what I do know is that you need for every cubic foot of air that gets sucked out of this building, you need to replace it with a cubic foot of air. And right now, even with the hoods off, you're losing air. Right. So they're coming to put one on the roof. That's gonna bring one into Excellent. the kitchen and one by the sink. Perfect. In the meantime, once they have that done, I would like to get this hot water tank either fixed or um, replaced. Whatever needs to be done for it to be working, because right now it will not turn on. Okay. So I need to. Well, you, you, I, you I, can't I, run I, it because I, you I, still you, because the electric line is still melted. <laughs> right. So, yeah. so it's not even the electric. The, the other lines on the bottom is melted. And the, the part that the gas comes out from underneath, I believe, is not working well either. That's what is messed up. Mm -hmm. I'm taking care of the ventilation issue. They're coming out to fix it. But once that is done, I need to make sure the tank itself is working. The, ta the, the, ta the tank right now is intact and is leak free. Okay. Um, how do I get the tank? up and working once the ventilation issue is fixed because i know the tank leaks once it's working and it's on okay w once the the wiring that is melted has been replaced replaced or repaired and you have adequate makeup air and you have proper draft on this water heater um have your contractor turn it on and do a proper startup and commissioning procedure if you don't have a contractor that can do that, the proper startup and commissioning, we can do that for you. Okay. I said I, I said that to I said that to you when I spoke to you last week, when you had called, and you said what needed to be done, and I said again, you need to have makeup air addressed, proper draft to get rid of the downdraft that you're having, have your electrician replace the the wiring that is burnt and damaged. And once everything is at 100%, you can hire us to come out here and properly start up and commission the system. Yeah. We have test equipment that we use to, val to validate that, and we, we print the results. This is what we do. So if you don't have a contract to do that, you're more than welcome to hire us. I'll be happy to do that for you. And if at that point there's something odd going on, we will support you with a, a warranty claim if that is the case. But right now, nothing has changed in the last two weeks. Nothing. Okay, so if I fix the air ventilation issue and you come back again and you see once the air ventilation issue is done that it is leaking. No, let, I, as I'm going to say it again, and I don't really like repeating myself and I'm trying to be professional here, but you're not understanding what I'm saying. And I'm saying crystal clear. No, I'm saying no, no, what if I fix the air ventilation issue and, and it's And, 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 no, that's not what I'm saying. I said you need to address the downdraft. You need fresh makeup air in this building. You need to have your electrician replace the wiring that is repair or replace the wiring that is damaged due to fire. 
And once that's installed, you need to have a contractor properly start up and commission this water heater. You skip that valid point that I said now three times. Okay. okay? And if, if you don't, if you do not have, if you do not have a, if you do not have a qualified contractor who can start up and commission this water heater, you're, I'll be more than happy for you to hire us and do it. We have the equipment to test this. If your contractor okay. doesn't, Okay. Let's say I do all those three early next week, and the tank is still leaking. Then you would. Uh, if 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 we, if we come out here and we start up the machine, and we see a defect with the machine, we will support you and provide documentation to the manufacturer on your behalf to help you resolve this. Okay. Is there any way that I can get the parts that need to be replaced from American Standard? What parts? The, the or the burnt wires underneath. I don't see any burnt wires underneath. The only burnt wire I see is the half inch electrical whip that connects, you know, the box. And again, you, your machine is not even installed to code. <laughs> it's not even installed to code. You have you have a you have, you have no service switch for this water heater. There's no way to power this off. There right? is in the room. It's not it's not next to the machine. And that's code. I'm, I'm just telling you like it is. And if we would take a closer look at the gas piping, I bet you that's undersized as well. You have a you have a 200,000 BTU water heater being fed with visible three quarter inch piping. So I doubt it's getting proper amount of gas to properly run. And that's an installation issue, not a water heater issue. So like I said, have your ventilation company take care of ventilation, have your electrician take care of the electric, Give us a call if you, you don't have a contractor that can properly start this up. And I would love to help you. Okay. All right. Sorry. You're welcome. Anyway, we have I, I don't need to be to fix it. You, 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 you have to do it, and I, I pay you. I, 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 but, 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 but the way your son told, spoke to me two weeks ago, and the way you've been saying now, you act like you're doing no. me a favor. No. I don't need favors. No, <laughs> right? no, no, no. If you want to hire, hire my company as, as as an HVAC and plumbing contractor to help you start up and commission this once the deficiencies have been resolved, I'll be more than glad to. Okay. More than glad to. Okay? But until that time comes, we're wasting time. You're right. You're right. Because saying, it's been two weeks. You know, it's been two weeks. This restaurant has, has been costing money. Exactly. Because it's, it's, there's no revenue exactly. and it's just tons of liabilities. You're right. So, I know. I know. Yeah. That's why I. Okay. Uh, I just keep repeating myself over and over and over. Uh, I. I, I I don't think I did absolutely anything wrong whatsoever, even in my tone and demeanor to this guy. He just, I don't know, he just doesn't get it, right? Which He's one? talking about the guy that was there or on oh, the, the, guy on the, the guy on the phone. The guy on the phone. The guy on the phone, which is the same. The guy that was there didn't speak English. He spoke some English. A little bit. A little bit, yeah, but that's yeah, fine. Yeah, you know, he couldn't understand what you were saying when you were explaining the problems. Yeah. But the, the son understands. He understands. He just doesn't he just, want to yeah. understand. Yeah. For you know, some he doesn't want to comprehend because he wants to get a new water heater from American Standard because he really feels that there's something wrong with it. Even though for like a dozen times, me saying the same thing over and over and over to him, you know. What, he's basically trying to file a lawsuit? No, he's just trying, he's to, just trying to get a new one. He's trying to get a new water heater. Uh -huh. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with the water heater. The problem is the installation and the installation environment. Why don't you just let him do it and he'll just get nothing? Let him do what? Try to get a new one. Why? Free. We're I'm I'm being paid by the manufacturer to be oh, their uh, be, be their be their, I've been hired by the manufacturer to consult for them, be their eyes and ears on the ground, American and do, and, do, and document what's going on. And for the second time, I'm documenting again. But you know, this time it was you know it's leaking water. And American Standard says, listen, it's condensation. You have a cold tank, you turn it on. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna condensate a little bit. It's just the laws of physics. I don't get it. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. Let me know if you would have done anything, if you would have done it a little bit differently. Sure, now, I, I know, sure I, 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 I know, I know a lot of people are going to say I would have walked the F out of there and like give him a nice swift kick in the ass. But 
Could I have handled that in a more professional manner? I really want to get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. I think I maintained, you know, composure and professionalism. And, you know, I also threw in, you know, a few things there. I was like, listen, I'll be more than glad to help you out. And, you know, if there is a defect with the tank, you know, and I will, you know, go to bat for you. But obviously that's not the case here. And, you know, he skipped that vital part when he was repeating himself for the third time about, you know, coming there to, you know, hire us to start up and commission this, the water heater properly. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. Be well, God bless. Did we get paid for going there? I, did you? Do we get paid for going there? Didn't I just tell you that the manufacturer hired me? I'm saying by them for a delivery once called. The one to, for, for what's it called for our labor service the, the manufacturer the there. manufacturer hired me to consult oh, and be their eyes and ears on the, the ground manufacturer that they t said to them like these people didn't call you no you just don't get it <laughs>